Now lastly, um, there's been a great op-ed written this week in Australia about how Charles has won the power struggle against the Sussexes because it seems that no matter what the Sussexes throw at the family, they come through it in one piece, albeit, albeit that they're fairly bruised, like that's, that's granted. Mm. Um, do you think we've seen the end um, of Harry and Meghan throwing those barbs, particularly as we get closer to the coronation? I highly doubt it. Uh, the couple seems quite determined to talk about uh, their truth. And, you know, Harry has, you know, his book deal was part of a multi-book deal, so it wasn't just one book that we were promised, and they're murmuring that uh, Meghan is going to release her own content as well, which I'm sure will hark back to her very brief experience within the royal family as an active member of the royal family. The reality is the couple were waging a battle, so, if, so to speak, with... It, with, a, with an institution that they were never going to win against. Mm. They were never going to win against the royal family, um, even if it came out that there were more sensationalist claims, um, which didn't actually materialise. Um, the reality is the, the royal family's mantra of don't complain, don't explain, actually has helped them. Um, keeping a dignified silence has helped them because many people now uh, can see kind of the similarities between having relatives like the Sussexes and, and having problematic relatives in their own lives. Um, regardless of what accusations or what, what feelings they may have had being in the royal family, most people can agree that to reveal such intimate details about family members uh, is grotesque. And, and tacky and, and classless. And so you actually have people feeling sympathy for, for members of the royal family. So in, in many ways, it has actually backfired on them. Their popularity ratings has, have tanked in the, in the US, for instance. They've actually got lower popularity ratings than Prince Andrew, which is, I actually didn't think was physically possible, but that, that is uh, you know, a feat to behold. Um, so they were never going to win this battle. Um, they, they kind of played hard and fast with the truth. They demonized the media that they then tried to utilize uh, to make money. You know, they were always complaining about the British tabloids, but then they were also using the British tabloids to increase their own celebrity. So, you know, they were never going to win this. They were never sophisticated enough to do it. Um, even Princess Diana, who did it in a far more authentic way, um, she still, you know, at the time of, of her tragic passing, wasn't actually very, very popular in the country because, again, people thought it was tacky to reveal details, uh, such intimate details of your own life. I mean, that's something that we relegate to, to, to reality stars and to really kind of fringe celebrities, not members of a royal family, that actually have some sort of social standing. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually an excellent observation. Look, Esther, that's all we've got um, time for this evening. Thank you so much for joining us and no doubt we'll be chatting with you again soon. See you later. Thank you.